You deposit 500 each month into an account earning 2% interest compounded monthly. How much will you have in the account in 35 years? To find how much we'll have, we'll use this balance formula that we, this regular deposits formula. For finding the balance, given a specific deposit and um, using compounded monthly for R. So R would equal the APR divided by 12, since it's compounded monthly, APR in this case would be 2% or 0 0.02 as a decimal. Simplify that we would get a repeating decimal if we try to simplify this fraction. So we're going to keep it as a fraction just to be more accurate. If it was a terminating decimal, then we would convert it. We could convert it to a decimal and use it in our form. Since it's repeating decimal, we're going to leave it as a fraction. T is going to be 12 months times 35 years which equals 420. So the balance of the account will be the deposits $500 each month times 1 plus 0 0.02 over 12 for R, 420 for T. And on the bottom, we have R again. And then we can simplify this using Desmos. So we have a fraction. The expression on the top, which is 500, parentheses, parentheses, 1 plus another fraction. So our R. 0 0.02 over 12, close parentheses, we have an exponent, 420, click down here, minus 1, close parentheses, and then on the bottom, we have another fraction, 0 0.02 over 12. Okay, so this Expression simplifies to 303,773 and about 90 cents if we round it. So that's about the balance of the account after 35 years. But what if we want to know the total money that we are putting in the account, so not including the interest that would be earned on the account. So to find the total money, we would multiply the amount that's being deposited times, so it's the deposit times the number of months, this is compounded monthly, since you're depositing monthly, times the number of years. So 500 times 12 times 35. So back to the calculator, we have 500 times 12 times 35. So we are actually depositing 210,000, but there is over 300,000 after 35 years. So then um, there's a lot that's interest that's being earned over that time period. So we can find how much that is. So the interest would be the total money. No, I'm sorry. It would be the balance minus the total money that you deposit. So we're just finding the difference between the actual balance after 35 years and the money that's deposited with the $500 each month. 
So that would be 303,773.90 minus 210,000. So what does that equal? So we have 303,773.90 minus 210,000. Commas on the calculator. So an interest. The total interest earned would be $93,773.90.